putting away the instructions. Oh. I just, I guess I'm like, I got it like that, and I don't. Espanol. I have not been practicing my Spanish, so let's just look at the English instructions. Hey guys, it's Cara, aka The Pretty Little Lawyer, and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by, and if this is not your first time here, thank you so, so much for coming back. So, in today's video, I will be doing a full review of a new vacuum I just purchased. Let me, let me make that very clear. I purchased this vacuum <laughs> with my own money. This is not a sponsored video in any way. No one is paying me. This is my honest review of the Samsung Jet 60 Flex. Um, I purchased it on Amazon during their Prime Day, pre-Black Friday deal. Um, I got it for about $100 off and um, yeah, so <laughs> those are all the disclosures, but um, I really like the vacuum, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, it may possibly go on sale again for actual Black Friday. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I will link it below so that you guys can check it out if you're in the market for a new vacuum. Um, it was relatively inexpensive compared to comparable um, models, so I was really excited to get my hands on this for um, a very affordable price because I've been wanting a stick vacuum for several years now since I realized that lugging my large vacuum up and down three flights of townhome stairs was like not really the workout vibe I was looking for, <laughs> um, but just the expense of getting one of these vacuums was prohibitive for me. <laughs> so um, I now have a relatively affordable vacuum and I think it's great for the value. Um, I think it has some features that some of the more expensive vacuums don't have. So I'm excited to share those with you in today's video. So let's get into it. Um, I am in excruciating pain because I got not one, but two shots today. Uh, I got my COVID booster and I got my flu shot. And my arms are just howling. Oh, I like this. Okay, I'm really excited because I thought it was gonna be like pink and it's not, so I'm actually really happy about this. Obviously, I got this from Amazon. I'm just doing like an unboxing for Instagram, but I'm gonna do a full review for YouTube. So it's boxed really nicely. <laughs> Um, I am already super excited about the color because I ordered the rose gold because it was on sale, but I really did not want a pink vacuum. <laughs> so, super excited about that. Espanol. I have not been practicing my Spanish, so let's just look at the English instructions. Here are all the components I'm supposed to have. So, I've already taken out the pipe. The pipe. <laughs> the battery. Jet fit brush. Um, I will say that as I'm taking everything out, like each of these pieces individually are very lightweight. So that's great because I've been lugging a mammoth up the stairs for the past two years. So I'm super excited to have some lightweight stuff. 
Harvest tool. The wall mount. Yeah, this is the dustbin and filter. So I think I might be missing a piece. I know it's probably just me being absent-minded, so before I, you know, file a complaint. <laughs> this piece is a little heavy, um, but it's much lighter than my actual vacuum, so, and like I would be using it like this, so not super, not like very heavy. It's, oh, I like this. Let me tell you why I already like this better than the Dyson. So the one I was using, like you have to, there's like a button in the handle that you have to push the entire time you're vacuuming, which I didn't really like. Um, but this one just has like a power button here and it looks like it just stays on while you're vacuuming. So that's nice. I keep putting away the instructions. I don't know. I guess I, guess I, I got it like that and I don't. I'm gonna put this sucker together. Huh. I'm gonna have like a pretty video of everything on the floor. You know how like people do those cute videos and it's like just a, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. But I also like, I really wanna be an actual content creator. And I feel like I'm just like not good at it. I don't think I like to think things through, like the attention to detail that actual content creators have. I don't know if I have that. <laughs> I don't know if I have it. So let's see. It's me filming this from multiple angles. Cause like, I feel like that's what they did. This is cute. This is cute. Good idea, Kara. <laughs> Y'all can't even see it. All right, let me show y'all. So I just put all this stuff on the floor and then I did like a close up like, ooh, God, look at that. That thing is cute. That thing is cute. It is kind of pink actually. Now that I'm looking at it, like look at the box. This is what I was hoping I was getting. But once I unwrapped it, it is pink, but it's not like hot pink. It is rose gold, which is fine. I do like rose gold. So this is the Jet 60 Flex. You will not find it on the Samsung website. Trust me, I looked because I wanted to see reviews outside of Amazon. But unfortunately, desafortunadamente, hey, <laughs> it, was, um, it was not on the website. So I don't know if this is a product that they make specifically for Amazon. So you know how like, um, designer clothing brands, they will make things specifically to sell it like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I feel like the Jet 60 Flex might be like the Amazon discount version of the Jet 60 Pet, the Jet 60, there's like several different um, Samsung vacuums with this Jet 60 uh, prefix. So I think this might just be their you know, we're only gonna sell this on Amazon version because it was not at all on their website. Um, the other thing is they have like more powerful ones like the Jet 75 and also they're not paying me for this video. So yeah, let's just get to the one that I paid for, the one that I bought, because this is not an ad and I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> so let's just put this thing together now. I do like that the filter is washable. Love that for me. So I don't have to be replacing filters. I put the battery in like so until it clicks and then look at that. Let me show you guys like the, the volume because it's not loud at all. And then here you can increase the intensity. I don't know if you guys can actually hear me. <laughs> okay, so here's where you can increase or decrease the suction. So I'm gonna turn it on. It gets, it gets up there. 
it, get, it gets loud. But on the lowest setting, it's not loud at all. So one of the complaints that I saw online was that when you're using it, it doesn't stand up on its own. So if that's important to you, you should know <laughs> that like when you're vacuuming, it is not going to stand up on its own when you stop. So you will want to lean it against something so that it doesn't go crashing down to the floor. So that's just one thing I see with it already. Guys, I just brought this thing up the stairs on one finger. On one finger. <laughs> like, those of you who have like an older vacuum, you know what I'm talking about. You know why that's a big deal. I don't need to explain it to you. One finger. Ciao. What have I been doing? Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is make sure that the cord will reach to where I wanna put it. Because if not, you won't even need to do all this. Okay. We plug them in here. Oh my God, guys. Guys! My washer and dryer are Samsung rose gold. I didn't even do this on purpose. Like, I literally just got it because it was on sale. But now I'm super stoked to hang this in the laundry room. So now I need it to work. <laughs> Um, so the plug goes into the back of the wall mount and then it just kind of snugly fits in here. I'll kind of do a zoom in. You have to have it plugged up before you mount it, obviously, because this is on the back and this will be along the wall. So you plug this into the back here and then you can secure the cord in this crevice. Yeah, so the cord is long enough, like obviously I'll make it nice, but the cord is long enough, so that's good. So now I need to see, I need to make sure. Okay. That it'll fit in here, it will. Okay, guys. We, as the folks in the South would say, are cooking with gas. Yeah, this thing is very top heavy. Like, it does not stand up on its own. So, I will reiterate that so you guys can't say I didn't tell you. Um, just make sure you have a place to lean it because it will fall over. Yep, little video, show you how to do it. Okay, it has to be more than 44 inches off the ground. Um, I don't have a tape measure, but I am over five foot tall and it is literally basically my height. So, um, should be good. Should be good there. Let's do this. Y'all know I hate to measure stuff, right? I think, I think y'all know that about me. I was not anticipating this requiring as many tools as it has, so I will put a rundown of all the tools I used at the bottom so that you have everything when you start. And I'm also sure that's probably in the instructions somewhere that I neglected to read. We have power on as well. It's charging, as you can see here. So we're all good. We got a mount on the wall and it matches the washing machine. I can't even with myself. I can't 
cannot even with myself. It's like even when I'm not trying. Even when I'm not trying. This is what it's like to be one of my favorites. But you are too. Okay, so the other thing is the tools. Looks like they go on the back here. Yeah, they go sideways. Super cute. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something about this vacuum that you might not have been looking at if you guys have any questions you know you can always drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them and I will see you next week does that make me lazy? I'm gonna edit that out you guys will never see that please I beg